Okay, run me through that process real quick because I love like sort of the behind the scenes, step by step, like real world situation. So like, if you submit a breakdown for a '40s Hispanic woman, do you? How do you fill those slots? Do you immediately go to agents you like? Do you immediately go to the people you know you like? Do you have like a starred list that you start with? It's both. Like it really is a combination of all of that. 40s Hispanic. Let's say for a commercial, right? Yeah. Um, Because there's more volume. We'll we'll be able to see more than if it was a feature. Um, Yeah, it's we'll get thousands of submissions. Yeah. You know, like it's like 5,000. Well, it depends on the category category and it depends on is it a union national network? You know, is it a non-union buyout? Like a lot of those factors will play in on how many submissions we get. Right. Um, But let's say this is a full on national network. Um, uh, so we'll probably get 5,000. Okay. <laughs> and not, well, if has, speaking Spanish, maybe less, but let's say just a Hispanic uh, woman in her 40s, or, you know, um, the first thing we would, would do is just like go through, go through. We have agent, we make agent lists, like our favorites. Okay. Let's say this is comedy and it's improv. I put, like, I categorize all my like agents that I feel are good for that. So then I could That's filter awesome. through the 5,000 and go through those first. And then um, I'll go through like another list. Like we have our, um, there's like a commercial list. Then there's a um, Spanish speaking list. You know, we have like New York, Chicago list, Atlanta. Like if we're casting um, in those markets, the agencies that we like to work with. So that brings it down. Um, if it's union, I could filter by, uh, you know, who's in the union. Um, and then, but the, but a lot of times we try to believe it or not, we will try to go through everything. We will try to get through all 5,000 of those yeah. if we have time, even if it's a hundred a page. So that's where the headshot's important. What I'm seeing people I know. So I do like an initial click on them and something might jump out like, Oh, I've never seen this person before. So I'm going to click them. Then I bring the, bring it down to a couple of hundred. That's when I flip them over and start looking at resumes and, um, reels, footage. Uh, I love footage, even for on a commercial. You know, even if it's theatrical, I'd rather have theatrical footage because it's a lot of times in a commercial, you're part of a group of four or five right. actors not saying anything, and you're reacting very well. But I want to see how you, you know, you move and walk and talk, and you become a character. So it just helps. It helps the headshot come to life. Yeah, to see footage of someone that I don't know. Got it. So, and then from those, we'll either call them in or we'll have them self-tape and um wait hold on real quick let me double click on a couple things the <laughs> agency <click>. list <laughs> the agency list do you favor bigger agencies no. or do you, not a, mm. you have no preference no. on agency it's no just, you i, know pr- what I agencies prefer are the, good at i just know like i trust like if an agent says to me like if i call two agents and i say to one send me a couple of guys mid thir- mid 30s yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> early 40s <laughs> Late thirties, <laughs> late thirties. Okay, if I'm being honest, it's you're a young guy. But mid, you can still play mid thirties. Thank you. Mid thirties, uh, comedic, great with improv. Um, you know, uh, also great with dialogue. And one agent sends me three people that are like spot on, but the other one sends me people that don't fit. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna trust the other agent yeah. more. So that agent moves to more of my favorite. Um, and you sort of recognize that pattern. Yeah, over of course time, you right? could recognize like the agents yeah. that are um, most, you know, commercials are different though, again, because there, a lot of times it is a type. So, but if they're not really, if we're not connecting and getting on the same page of what my director or client is looking for, because there's a lot that goes into these things. Yeah. There's like zooms and conference calls with clients I to, bet, yeah. to make sure. And it's never going to be about the actor in a commercial. No. It's the product. Yeah. It's always going to be about the product, but it's how you guys support that. Right. So, um, okay. but that's how we, that's how we have relationships with agents. Makes sense. And so then th- some of them just have amazing people on their roster. They have really good taste. They yeah. know how to, you know, there, there's some agents in town that agencies that like go scouting, you know, at like the different improv clubs yeah, or like three arts the or schools. Yeah. Three arts is yeah. a big one for comedians, I think. And, um, so then when you get all those, you get 5,000 submissions, you go down through your favorites and you, do you usually, with your favorites and your agent filters and everything, do you usually fill up that the number you're looking for, or then there's extra chafe like twenty spots or whatever, and that's when you start going into the yeah, five thousand. No, we we try. You said you try to go through five thousand every yeah. time, but I assume you yeah. whittle that down immediately and give the eighty or whatever spots to 
Your favorite age is your favorite people. No, no. really, <laughs> yeah, God, that is crazy to me. I'm a geek. I mean, I'm, I, this is crazy, but no, I will try to go through everything first. Wow. You go through the five thousand first. I'll and try. Then if go I to your can't, favorites. I'll go through a, a good amount of the five thousand, a couple of thousand, maybe send out one schedule, and then I have the other three thousand to look at for the next day. Like and you do your favorites after that. No, I do my favorites as During as it? as I prep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're asking me. Yeah. As I'm prepping, I go right to the agencies that I know are good. They have the people I want. They have, the, you know, I'm looking for um, bilingual speakers with that character we talked about. So um, I need to know that she speaks Spanish fluently, right. and um, so and then I'll look at the people I don't know, like or I don't have relationships. Does with. your favorite list usually fill up like 50 percent of the spots, or like no? No, it doesn't. Less significantly less or significantly more? It's it's it so hard to say. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard to say, but it there's always going to be room. Like I'll make room. Like I might w- find somebody who is in the like the uh an agency I've never worked with or for, you know, at this point we we pretty much know all the agencies. Yeah, that's crazy. So I know and <laughs> so it is, but it's um and I have to say like uh, most of them are really really good. Yeah. So, but um it's more of an actor that I don't know. Got it. So I'll say, you know what? Maybe I won't see uh, Mike for this one. You know, he's great and everything else, but I want to try this, n- this new person. New person. Yeah. yeah. And when they're new, that's when you double click into them and say, this is their footage. This yeah. Is their training. Is Look that? at everything. Okay. So when you take the submissions or when you send them out and then you take the self tapes or whatever, you, the, I always ask this question, but I realize it varies. Is it, it's like a, it's based on time, right? How much time you have to see how many people you have. Wait, wait say the question again. How many self tapes you ask for is based on how much time you have, right? You don't always ask for a hundred self tapes. You might ask for one hundred and fifty if you have more time, or you might ask for two hundred if yeah. you have more time. It's, it's all time contingent. If it's if I have to have something by tomorrow to the client, I'm not going to have time to watch two hundred yeah. tapes. But if I'm not finding what I need, I have to put more out. Okay. So when you take those tapes in, are you watching the entirety of every audition the entire tape? tape? So each take? Each take. Really? Yeah. Or I will fast forward. <laughs> Seems so mind numbing to me, honestly. I mean it part I mean, of me thinks I'd be a really good casting director, and then I hear that and I'm like, there's no way I'm watching the entire tape it, of two hundred takes. But you don't know what's gonna happen yeah. on the third take or something. I might not make it through the first take, but I'll fast I'll fast forward it. Oh, I'll I go see. to the end of the end of the chapter. That makes more sense to me. Absolutely. Yeah, I I or if it, I see what I like in the first take, I don't have to hear the whole. Let's say it's a pharmaceutical monologue that's pages and pages, oh, yeah, and yeah. you know, I'm like, wow, they've got this. This is great. But I want to see if they took the adjustment on the third take to make it more conversational and less spokespersony or something. So then I'll say, yeah, per, per, he did it. That's great. I'll mark him. I'll click on him. Got it. 